It's been a little while, and folks may not remember who we are. So let's get out there and give them a reminder. just hit one of the resistance outposts hard. There may be survivors, but that's a best case scenario. We're going in to secure the site. Neutralize all hostile contacts. Oh, hi, Mark. Right on schedule. Well, this may put a slight damper on the plans. I appreciate that. And I appreciate your ability to speak without moving your lips, evidently. That's quite impressive. Well, we are getting started nice and early, are we not? Just flooding us with everything all at once. Mr. Tear. You didn't even give a shit about the fact you just walked over fire. <laughs> well, I don't think they had a say in the matter, to be fair. However, I'm not going to argue with you. Now, if you could kindly take out uh, this fine gentleman as well. Well, I didn't need you to launch him 13 feet backward, but I'll go ahead and take that. Thank you very much. Well, I mean, at the very least, you did set the car on fire. Finn, if you kindly try your hand. Yeah, I think you got it. I think so. We couldn't see, so I, I can't really be sure. The tactical legacy pack weapons are wonderful, I'd just like to say. There's not much sport in this. But it is amusing. You haven't really done anything yet, so I'm kind of surprised you're amused at all. What the fuck was that unholy noise that I just heard? Was that the radio inside the RV you're currently standing on? Finn, you got a shiny new weapon, a little this little thing called a shred storm cannon, so if you could possibly... Way ahead of you, man. Well, glad to hear it. Well, uh, more like a shredder. Shredstorm cannon is the next level up, but close enough. Oh! I'll have to make a note of that. Not very observant. <laughs> you know, I, I think you are very correct about that, GLaDOS. They certainly are not. Oh! And just to fucking spite you, I'm coming to get I you too, bitch. That's why the <laughs> want you back on the tactical side, Commander. Well, Tyr is certainly ready to unload on the Hunter. Can't say I blame the guy. Well, nice of you to just uh, pop up and uh, show yourself for us. Certainly appreciate that, Ugly. Thank you. We don't you do got rid of the soft targets. Now you have to deal with me. Was that really all the reinforcements you brought with you, Hunter? I'm not sure whether to call you brave or stupid. Maybe, maybe both. Brufid? Is this a trap? 
Yeah, probably. I mean, it's not outside the realms of possibility, Freeman. Let's be completely honest. He's being awfully quiet. That's exactly what I was thinking of. Not entirely sure what he's doing over there, but, uh, well, I'm sure we'll find out eventually. Well, uh, hi. Nice to see you too, buddy. The elders were more than a little unhappy that you killed off one of my siblings. Oh. I guess it's time I step up my game. That's one of the chosen. Heads up. Yeah, I don't blame him for running away after that. Also, hi. Still not safe, buddy. We cornered him. I'd say that plan worked quite well. I'll just go ahead and say I had a plan and make myself sound smarter than I actually am. I've scanned for a replication of your current strategy and found zero results. So you're a pioneer now. Well, I mean, thankfully, GLaDOS, I actually do have a strategy in mind. Oh, that's just about what I need. Sup. You lost that bet, didn't you? You might be the first to ever take me down more than once, Commander. Don't get cocky. I'll be back to finish this later. We've proven the Chosen can be hurt. Now we just have to work on putting them down for good. Oh, and we are certainly going to be working on that as soon as possible. The Elders Chosen are incredibly resilient. Despite our victory over them today, we still have much to learn if we wish to destroy them permanently. I wouldn't exactly call that resilient, Tagen. I'd call that, uh, hopelessly persistent. If anything, they're basically this game's version of Team Rocket at this point. Sans the third member now. Holy shit, and GLaDOS has officially become a colonel, which means that we have two very, very, very nice abilities that she may want. And I'm honestly leaning toward this one. Or, you know, why not? Fuck it, why don't we get both? Yeah, sure, why not? I'm okay with that. GLaDOS is now officially the most terrifying sniper in the game. And I'm completely okay with that. Well, holy shit, ladies and gentlemen, I didn't honestly think I'd ever be back here again, but welcome back once more to- uh, hold up. Yeah, this is, uh, this has been a long, long, long time coming, and I am terribly sorry it's taken me this long to get back to this point, but we are here, we are finally back with the War of the Chosen main campaign. And hopefully that opening was, uh, at least somewhat worth it. Uh, nothing I did was going to be worth the wait on that, but, well, I figured, you know what, better late than never. So, fuck it. With that said, uh, I'd like to reintroduce four uh, of our squad mates today, Allo9, Boris Red, Johanna Blue, and Cedric Black. These four were from my short-lived uh, Four Against the Darkness series, which was a challenge run on uh, streams that I had, well, put myself through and subsequently quit after a number of failed attempts. Uh, the m basic gist of the run was it was an Iron Man Legend run with Grim Horizon on in which I could not get any squad size upgrades and I had to use these four heroes to do the majority of the work. I was unable to finish that. I probably will go back to it at some point once I figure out a way to make it a bit less unbearably difficult. But for now, they will be occupying some space in our main campaign. So, welcome to them. They have been uh, proving themselves quite reliable, as you could probably tell. Mr. TOG1 over here obviously needs no reintroduction, and neither does Mr. Best at Nothing. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and pick up where we left off and, uh, attack ourselves a Codex Brain facility. Shen and Tygen barely managed to pull these coordinates from that codex thing they had down in the shadow chamber. We're guessing this may be its origin point, but can't know for sure. Based on the fight it put up, I'd expect heavy resistance either way. Good luck down there. I mean, to be honest, Central, when can we ever not expect heavy resistance? It's kind of become Advent's calling card. Then again, our calling card is loudly flying into an area on a big ship, thumping onto the ground in heavy armor, and we somehow don't expect them to notice that we've arrived. I don't know, that's just how we operate, I suppose. Sans all logic and sense. All right then, Hush, let's uh, have you go forward and do just a tiny bit of scouting. You bet. There are a lot 
of guys up here. Well, that was quick. Okay, then. Well, Mr. T.O.G. Why did the Codex only take two damage? I guess they have resistance to that sort of thing. Well, whatever. I can tell you what they don't have resistance to. Psionic blades being shoved directly into their face. Well, I'd rather you not get uh, set on fire. So instead, go say hello to that one. Mr. Boris? Harry is flying! You are indeed. Now, would you kindly say hello in uh, your own extremely personal way? Well... Harry will now lay egg in your mouth. Please don't. Yep. Killed the bad guy. Y yes. Yes, you did. As the camera... Decided to say hello to the nether realm. Okie dokie. Uh, our camera guy is apparently able to travel through dimensions. You got it. Would have loved to know this beforehand. Oh shit. You, uh... So many choices. Well, you're quick to get back up. We just kicked your ass. I've got to give you credit there, Hunter. You, uh, you don't stay down for very long, do you? Not only is the Chosen here, but so are a bunch of burrowing chrysalid fuckers. All right then, awesome. Should have saved that flamethrower. Lesson fucking learned. I'll give you a sporting chance. Oh, how kind of you. Roger that. Okay. I knew I'd seen that weapon somewhere before. Yes, it's the one that killed you, like, 30 minutes ago. I'm glad you have an amazing memory. Was that grapple really necessary? You could hide, eh? Not really, no. I mean, we know we can't hide because you have all seeing. AKA the thing that I absolutely love. Hi, how are you doing? Figured you'd be showing up. <laughs> it did, did it? I don't know. I mean, I, I think, uh, I think Mr. TOG's doing just fine there considering he lost literally one health. And now that our Templar is nice and full, it's time to begin our advance. And that's why I absolutely adore all seeing. Didn't see that coming. Yeah, I, I, I know we didn't, but he sure did. Not much use for it now, anyway. You're not the top of the food chain anymore, Reaper. Yeah, you know, the unfortunate thing is he's right, both he and Cedric. No use for stealth anymore. Until we kill that guy, the entire area is a reveal floor. I saw we were in a hurry. Not anymore. Well, if there's one thing that I've never stopped loving, it's playing fucking deadly hide and seek with a bunch of burrowed chrysalids. Do I smell soiled baby diaper? I don't know, do you? Uh, well, Not um... Far enough. Picked up a couple of pets, have you there, Hunter? Speaking of chrysalid, let's go ahead and say hello to contestant number two! I hope you've got a good medic on the team. I mean, I've, I've got one better. We've got a giant robot with a giant fist. Oh! Oh! Is that like a vast of a lighter considerable it's amount of damage? Now. I would really like to hear Tyr's voice lines. Unfortunately, the hunter just really loves to see- just, just really loves to interject. I got a feel for poor Cedric right now. The first mission he comes along, he's completely counterpicked. Poor guy. Comes in sometimes. Well, all right then, Al. You're quick on the trigger finger. If you keep pressing on like this, I won't have any choice but to kill your people where they stand. I mean, you're welcome to try. Don't move a muscle. Not a very clean shot, I'll admit. Let's see what you've come up with now. Okay, okay, you can officially stop talking because I swear to God you just said about like four different lines back to back. Mr. Tear of Grace, if you could please shut this man up with a hail of bullets, I would certainly appreciate it. Hi, missed us. Um... You sure you're up to this? I'm not so sure anymore, to be honest. Well, I mean, you know, we can always just have uh, Mr. Cedric do this. I'll chalk that up to Well, I mean, luck may have had something to do with that. Well, the upside, Cedric is no longer uber countered. Go. So he can actually do his damn job. Boo. As I fucking say that. 
Well, okay then. Tears quick on the draw as well. Also, um... Cedric didn't even get touched. What happened in the intermittent time between Cedric pulling that... Did he pull two? He pulled two. What happened in the moment between Cedric pulling both the chrysalids and then the gatekeeper showing up? Oh, I think Ban did, actually. Yeah, he's got Guardian. Oh shit, okay, man. Yeah, Ban, I think Ban just covered Cedric's ass there. Boris, go introduce yourself to its face. It, this time. It, well, I, 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 I didn't mean to hold your hand out literally to shake its hand. I, I guess that's, I guess that's okay. Fuck it, let's see if we get uber lucky with this. Oh! Why, yes, we did. In fact, Boris, you're actually uh, our last chance to not take uber damage here. If, uh, oh boy, I'm going to have to ask you to shove your face into this thing's eye and take a bit of explosion damage. I'm sure you'll be fine. <laughs> I mean, it's okay, I suppose. And hey, uh, you know, uh, Al still has his extra movement action from getting a kill, so uh, he can just put himself right next to that crystal and smack it when it tries to do anything. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> Was that thought? Was that not the last one? Hey, there you are. You finally decided to come say hello. Oh wow! Al nearly destroyed it immediately. Well, you tried to make something happen. I'm not entirely sure what it was though. Status confirmed. All hostile contacts in the AO have been eliminated. The gateway is secure. Well, that could have gone smoother, but at the very least, nobody died. Well, the hunter showing up kind of threw yet another spanner in the works. Poor Cedric just immediately got countered, but to be fair, he countered the hunter right back. So I guess we'll call it even. Let's take a selfie. Uh, okay, ho hold hold on a moment here. First of all, Tyr is in a pretty uh, standard pose. Al is looking reasonably badass if it weren't for the fact that he is also skewering Boris through the head. Boris appears to be kneeling. No, no, he is resting on the corpse of a trooper. Ban, I don't know where you got that pistol, but please, I think the trooper's dead, sir. I I'm pretty sure it's dead at this point. And you know what? That's a very, very, very fitting pose for Cedric. Oh, I am. Sorry, Boris, and ow, tear as well. God damn. I am very sorry, you two. That kind of was not great. That kind of sucked for both of you. Well, shit. Moving on, I guess. Central, it's the commander. I need to speak with Hush. Could you send him to my office? Hi. Jesus! <sighs> Never mind. Hush, please stop doing that. Look, I've got a mission for you. I'm listening. I'm sure you've noticed, but the Hunter has been a lot more active lately. Probably because we took out his sister not too long ago. Great. Yeah, no kidding. Seems like he's pulling double time, covering up for her shift, as it were. I'll shut him up for you then. I appreciate the confidence, Hush, but you wouldn't be able to take out a Chosen by yourself. The strongholds are heavily fortified. We haven't even found his yet. No, we need to play the diversion game. Do something to get him off our backs for a while. We've locked in the coordinates to an Avatar Project facility in this region. Taking that thing out would do just the trick. Only one problem. If we sent a full force in, the Hunter would likely catch wind of us and move to intercept. We need someone to slip in, sabotage the facility, and get out. Alone. Are you up for it? Yes, sir. Good. Firebrand will be able to get you close, but you'll have to handle the rest yourself. Good luck. Operation Lone Reaper is a go. While I have total, absolute confidence in you, Cedric, I do want to be sure, so we're gonna take this nice and slow. Look. Well. Rolling out the welcoming wagon as soon as possible, aren't they? Yeah, we're just gonna skirt that if you don't mind. Thanks for the info. You know, I could do without the sass. Is that a fuel tank? It is. 
I have to be honest. I am incredibly tempted. You know what? Fuck it. We're, since we're here, why don't we have some fun? So, uh, this is a stealth mission, right? Just, uh, just so we're clear on that? This variation of the Archon must surely be the modified subject Dr. Valen had been experimenting on. She didn't have to upgrade their equipment in the process. No wonder these things escaped from the lab. And now the Archon King shows its face. Fucking wonderful. As if we weren't dealing with enough already. Thankfully, through the power of stealth magic, we can see the thing through the walls no matter where it goes. Are you sure you want to do this? Oh, Jesus fuck. That's a lot of heavy ordnance they're keeping around sensitive lab equipment. Alrighty then, Jesus, Advent does not fuck around when it comes to the safety of their avatar facilities. Duly fucking noted. I'm d um... I'm sorry, I was under the impression that the Sectopod was here to protect the facility. Not not break half of it down by walking through it. Okay then, uh, huh. Try not to freak out by the fact that you're standing about 10 feet away from a giant hulking monstrosity of steel and uh, plant that there bomb. Oh, hi, Mark. And yet again, this thing just breaks everything in its path. Um, I think we're gonna catch the stupid if we hang around here for much longer, Cedric. Wow, you mean you're actually planning to get me out of here alive one day? Well, I mean, that was the plan, yeah. Menace 1-5, status confirmed. X-4 charges detonated. Well, three kills in the bag, but now we have a pissed off Archon King to deal with later on. Oh, great. Well, at the very least, we can make the situation a bit easier to deal with by taking ourselves a selfie. What? What, are you, what exactly is this pose? Are you in the middle of uh, doing the cartoon wind up, gotta go, run off screen? Um, or are you shoulder checking an invisible man? I mean, both are viable answers considering what we've encountered so far. Also, your coat appears to be clipping through your calf. Uh, that, 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 uh, that, that could cause some health problems. Just saying. I'm not entirely sure what's going on in this photo, but I like it. Alrighty then, ladies and gentlemen. That is going to do it for today's episode of War of the Chosen. I am terribly, terribly sorry. It's taken me damn near a year to get back to this series. To kind of explain the long, long absence, I had plans on how to continue it, all of which would require me to learn how to edit in After Effects and a lot of other stuff a lot better than I currently do, and um, require resources that I may or may not have had the capacity to get, and or the patience as well, and in all honesty, I just felt after so long that absolutely nothing I could do could live up to the hype that, um, that the long wait was creating. So I figured, you know, fuck it. I'm just gonna go back to it and do what I can. And I'm gonna try to make it as good as I possibly can, regardless of the actual, like, fidelity of it all. Before we go on, I do have one slight retcon uh, to put forward. The commander is no longer me. Um, I have decided to remove my name from the character and just made him his own character, as you can see. No name, just the commander. I did this because I kinda felt weird that I was basically involved in the story that was developing in the game, and while it was certainly cool, I, I don't know, I just didn't feel like I could do my best work with my name attached to a specific character. I, I, it felt, I don't know, it's hard, it's hard to explain. It just felt weird, and well, now that the commander is his own character, well, that gives me a lot more creative freedom with what to do with him. So that's pretty much the uh, the main change that uh, I've made to the series. The commander is his own character from this point forward. Apart from that, it's not that big of a change. Just a concept change, I suppose. But with that said, I do hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, then don't forget to leave a like and a comment down below to let me know. As usual, the next YouTuber... 
recommendation will be on the end card. <laughs> and as always, um, my brain doesn't work. But regardless of that, y'all have a lovely evening, and I will see you next time. You know what? It does feel good to be back. It does feel good to be back. Let's hope I stay back this time. Hey, you made it to the end. Thank you very much. If you like what you saw, you're more than welcome to check out the rest of my barely tolerable content. And if you're feeling particularly adventurous, you can subscribe. I make it a point to upload a new video every Thursday unless life gets in the way, so be sure to check back regularly. If you like live streams, I stream at twitch.tv slash every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And if you want to keep up to date with me, I'd recommend following me on Twitter since the YouTube sub boxes don't actually do their job half the time. Thank you again for watching, and as always, y'all have a lovely evening, and I will see you next time.